What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, Dan Doyle Commentary. Um, <laughs> I'm recording this because I saw uh, Beyond, and I was like, well, first time for everything, right? <laughs> Might be the last time you see this deck on my channel, this format. We've got DD Angel, 1436, and Kid, a whole bunch of numbers, 1466. Same rating? No, 1436, sorry. Um, not quite sure why he regeki that, because... It still triggers, and he has Mind Drain out, which is okay against Burning Abyss. Not really. Uh, I mean, it stops them from specialing from the hand, but then if they have Tour Guide and High Defense Monsters, they can just keep on trucking. So you see a T set. Um, not really sure about this card. I think it stops Sir and Dante. And that's about it. I also think this card is largely fraudulent right now. Um, I think I cannot count how many bad Klee players play this card against Necros and they think that it's good and it's beyond terrible. It, it really is because all they do is rank for you, they exit on you, and then you lose because you're just bad. But um, I hate to sound so glim. I, I just think so many players lose to Necros because. They don't, because they haven't played the deck enough. It's like, it's not really that complicated. Why am I even talking about Necros right now? Now, what I really don't get is why Kid Boo has not already gone for Dante and just attacked. He keeps on, is he like afraid of this card or what? I'm, I'm kind of confused as to why he hasn't gone into Dante or at the very least Ghost Trick Alucard to pop this card. Unless he just says Fire Lake set. If he has Fire Lake set, okay then. I, I totally get it. Okay, well there you go. It was Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. Now you can take out everything but the monster. And completely win. Skill Drain. Necro Valley. But hey, look on the bright side. No, actually you don't get the attack again. Because he's going to get Skarm and just Stonewall you. Yeah, I, I thought for a second. I was like, he gets to attack directly. No, you don't. No, 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 you don't. But it's not that big of a deal. It's not like Mind Drain was doing anything for him anyway. Gets himself another tour guide. This should be pretty much game because they run Acid Golem. So even if you had another skill drain on the tour guide, they still run Acid Golem. So that's a thing. <clears throat> I mean, and now he can just, if, if, you, if you skill drain, I mean, just summon all the guys he wants out of his hand. He don't have no monsters. I mean, he doesn't have no back row, so it's just whatever. I'm still disappointed. I've seen some people playing Burning Abyss on DN and none of them are running Mathematician. And I'm like, so you don't like a floating monster that gets you Tour Guide instantly? Like, it's established that Tour Guide is like the fucking, like, that card is the fucking nuts. And since people aren't playing Max C anymore, because Effect Veiler, I think, is like way better right now. Um, mainly because I don't want you to draw an extra card to Trish me. I'd rather just stop Trish. <laughs> like, I, if my opponent's like, I want to draw a card, and then I'll let you Trish me. I, I'll take that shit all day. Like, yeah, you go ahead and draw. You go ahead and draw your one card. I'll Trish you, and I'll still win. <laughs> like, I'd rather have Effect Veil to just stop Trish than get my ass wrecked. All right, so yeah, shot on Prison Mirror. There is hope. There is actually hope for DD Angel. I was starting to tune out because I thought that he had no chance of winning. There is a slim chance. His chances just went from no chance to slim chance now. Okay, so Beyond has to die. And he'll eat some damage. But he, I mean, his his guys still float, so it's it's like it's all good in the hood. I mean, it's a shame that they don't have a tour guide, right? So I don't know if tour guide will attack the Suani. I don't I think it really won't accomplish anything because like he'll still get another monster. He might get Bixie. Nope, he gets another Beyond. I mean, this is largely what you don't want to do against this deck. <laughs> you don't want to be um attacking their monsters. Like you'd much rather spin them or just banish them. He goes into Downer Magician wanting to put protection on the Dante. Which I don't really think changes much of anything. Uh, that set card could be problematic. I think the tour guide's gonna die regardless because he can just attack into it. I think that's exactly what he's gonna do. 
I think I think was I think Yang Zing could have been so much better if they just would have if they would have made them so that they um they trigger when discarded and that they don't miss timing they just would have been so much better he's attacking a face down it's probably a Yang Zing so he'll get another Yang Zing and again this is actually what I don't think you want to do unless you have like vanity's emptiness face down because if he actually is able to get the Baxia he could totally just win the game like if he gets Baxia out he'll probably win and you can have all the little burning abyss monsters that you want that one Baxia will fuck you up so he gets Chi win Putting it in attack mode is irrelevant because he can't attack anymore. Setting another card? Okay. I don't know about setting all that back row, man. Because it's like, if something happens to this downer magician and your Dante still triggers, like, are you content just sitting on a scarm for like 10 turns? Because you won't be able to do a lot, like, you won't be able to do much more. So Chi Win is gonna die. Oh, Yang Zing creation. Oh, he's got a really good chance of running this shit back now, because now he's gonna get two monsters. I don't know what those back row are for Kid Boo, but they better be like real cards. Because if he drops like if he drops a man, actually if he drops a um like a uh what is the what's it called? What is the dark one's name? I totally forgot what its name is. The um the level seven that can't Yazzy. If he drops Yazzy and he gets that 500 attack game, uh, a gain. If he drops Yazzy and he gets the 500 attack game, this shit is over. I think Yazzy has 26, which means it'll come out at 31, which totally means that Burning Abyss can't kill it. <laughs> like there's, there's pretty much no way in your deck that you can kill that motherfucker except like Dark Hole and Regeki. I guess maybe Torrential Tribute. Depends on if you run it and if you've already expended it, but you have to like rely on mass removal. All the fire lakes in the world won't save you then. Now, obviously, he cannot use um, Gen 2's effect. And he's got what? Two, four, seven? He has seven stars on field. Which means he totally can go into it. So he's going into battle phase. Oh, okay. I'm like, why is he doing that? He just wants to... um. He wants to be able to get to, uh, what's it called? He wants to be able to get to more monsters. Mmm. That can be an issue because you have to worry about Nightmare Shark and that card just killing you. <laughs> and you totally put yourself under Nightmare Shark's, like, you kind of put yourself in a position where Nightmare Shark can kill you now. Now, if you have a legitimate defensive card, okay. But he is going to get three monsters. So, I mean, he should be able to get to some real legitimate synchros. I really wanted, I really wanted Yang Zing to be good. I, I wanted it so bad. I remember I made that video talking about how I fell in love with Yang Zing. I wanted that deck to be so good and it just wasn't. <clears throat> so he's going to attack the face down. Skarm maybe? Rubik? Okay, so Skarm dies. So he eats 100. Skarm dies, no effect because of Shadow Mirror. And he's got two tuners. Um, I'm not even going to count up all the levels. I'll wait until he synchros. I mean, he he has, he has a lot of possibilities. He kind of needs to get all those monsters off the field because he doesn't want to take any more attacks from Downer Magician. She's like kind of putting in work right now. Okay, so four, six. Eight. So he's got eight stars. Okay, so he's gonna summon Baxia, and it's spinning time now. It's going after the back row. Actually, yeah, that's all I was saying. I was like, isn't it one for every monster? So he's going after all of them. Fair enough. The only thing that's gonna trigger is Dante. The problem is Nightmare Shark is a thing, so if your opponent goes special special, 
Nightmare Shark, you will lose. I think Nightmare Shark has 2,000 attack, right? And you get to attack directly. He takes Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. Okay, what? <laughs> There's Shadow Prisoning Mirror. You cannot get Dante back. Only the Dante will trigger. I'm a little shocked that he got Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, to be honest, rather than getting monsters. Like, my whole game plan right now would be Nightmare Shark. It would not involve Shadow Imprisoning Mirror at all. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even be thinking about that. Like, that's cool that you get to blow shit up and everything, but then it's like, is it really that good? Because all these monsters just keep replacing themselves just like yours do. Like, I'd much rather just try and poke in for game. He's looking at his extra deck. Um... See, now is where Magical Android would be great. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ran that card since, like, Teledad format. When there weren't any other good level fives. That was pre catastrophe But, um, yeah, Magic Android would be great now. You just get life points. You get, um, is she 600, I think? 600 in the end phase? Each end phase, I think? <clears throat> I ran that card in, I want to say my first top eight deck ever in my Blackwing build. I have to go watch that video again. I feel like I may have run... Uh, a magic android as my only level five. No, wait, I, I ran Cataster. Yeah, I ran Cataster, but I think I ran, and I might have ran Android as well. That was the craziest, that was the craziest thing ever. There were two regionals in North Carolina on the same day. I'll never forget it. There was Greensboro and Charlotte, two regionals on the same day. This is the most in, insane thing I can, I, I don't think we'll ever see, never see that again. Two regionals in the state on the, on the same day, Charlotte and Greensboro. <clears throat> I went to Charlotte, ended up getting second place. All right, so now he's going to use Baxia's effect. <clears throat> okay, so now he's able to blow one up, and he's still able to use Suani's effect. Uh, how many stars does he have on board? Seven. This is all great, but it doesn't stop the nightmare shark I don't think he should care about fire lake honestly if if kid is trying to go for fire there you go there you go buddy you needed some you needed a way to stop nightmare shark if that's your way to stop nightmare shark if that's a book of moon or a an evac device or a mirror forest then you're good I don't think um, fire lake is something you should be concerned about I mean it it's a good card, obviously, but if he tortures your monsters, just summon more. As long as you don't run out of monsters, you should be okay. And they, they, do, they do have Yangzing Path, I guess, to get monsters back. I think Yangzing Path sends back three, you draw two. You have, you have ways of getting monsters back. That's all I'm saying. And I don't even know if they play. I don't even know if they play what's it called. If they play Digusto Emerald. So you see, he sets a, uh, uh, what's it called? A BA. We'll assume that's a BA. I think that's possibly the worst thing that Kid could have done. Because him setting a monster now means he can't special from his hand. I don't know if he just doesn't have any BAs or what. But I think he should have just... I think he should have went YOLO. I think he should have went for um, Nightmare Shark. Because now he's he's putting himself in a position where... Like, once DD Angel starts synchroing, it's pretty much a wrap. Now, Kid has already ended his turn. Now he's saying, wait. I think maybe he realized he may have fucked up. He says, how on the field? Yeah, when, when a, what's it called? When a, um, a Yang Zing gets blown up, you can summon Chi Win just with its own effect. But um, when it leaves the field, it gets banished. It's kind of like a... Uh, shoot. Plague Spreader Zombie. Yeah, it's got that built-in banish itself. Plague Spreader Zombie has that, and, um, there's another one. Uh, Birdman. Birdman has that, too. So, yeah, there's a couple of, um, limited to one synchros that have that, uh, that have that effect. It's crazy Birdman's still limited to one. <laughs> I think they might have to adjust that. But then again, Plague Spreader, I think, nah, I feel like Plague Spreader might be at two. I think Birdman's still at one. I think, um, well, there was like an FTK, I think, with Birdman. But, um, I think some of that had to do with Kara Curry. Kara Curry was, uh, Birdman was sick in that deck. 
all right so yeah he has dd angel has um he has seven stars on field which means he can make yazzy and with him having yazzy plus uh, baxia like i don't know i don't see him coming back from that so he's gonna activate baxia's effect probably blowing up suani maybe bixie actually nope he's gonna target chi win and the Jout 2 in the grave. Guess he figures it's no big deal losing Chi Win. It can replace itself with a creation monster anyway. If that set is Fire Lake, that is really, really bad news for him because you'll never use it. Not with setting monsters, you won't. So Chi Win dies. Um, Gen 2 gets summoned, and he can still use creation as well. Yeah, he's going to call creation. This is crazy. I honestly thought kid, I mean, I, I thought DD Angel had no chance of winning this duel. If you would have looked at this when I started recording, like it, it looked like he had no chance. And in that shadow, once he had that shadow mirror on the tour guide, I was like, okay, he actually has a slim chance of coming back because his, his beyond floated. And I was like, well, if he can just get monsters, he, his monsters can just absorb attacks and he can just, I was like, he, he'll he need monsters, obviously, to keep absorbing attacks, but it, his monsters taking attacks can further his game state. And then he got creation, which really, really furthered his game state. Because instead of getting one monster per turn, he started getting two. And then shit just started spiraling out of control for for Kid. I mean, you think you fire like three cards, you're probably going to win. And that shit just didn't happen. And now he summons a second Baxia. And everything's going to get spun. Now, regardless of this, Baxia doesn't have the greatest stat line ever. Um, I actually think the card is, uh, whoops. <laughs> so his face down is skill drain. Okay. What, what happened to skill drain? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what happened to skill drain. I guess it's irrelevant. Um, he had enough attacks to finish him off. I think this deck does play cowboy, if I'm not mistaken. But he had the skill drain to um to stop the nightmare shark play. Basically, yeah. The skill drain would have stopped the nightmare shark. He would have only had 300 life points, but it wouldn't have mattered. Um the nightmare shark would not have been able to get over this. Um he wasn't gonna just randomly make acid golem or something like that, because what the hell would that do against a field of like double backs and a whole bunch of monsters? It just wouldn't have done anything. Not to mention, um, I'm pretty sure these backsias weren't even 2300 like i think one of them was like 2800 i think Baxia should have been like 20 2500 um regardless but anyways thank you guys for watching as always um i know people are gonna say why don't you do more yang zing man it's i can't find them it's it's like three in the morning and this is the only time the yang zing players come out 